Welcome back in. It is mid morning on WKYT, sort of a dig out day. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. Get, get out and get moving again. Some Kentucky authors are being honored for their work as the Carnegie Center is hosting the 2016 Kentucky Writers Hall of Fame. We're joined by Neil Chefik, the executive director of the Carnegie Center, along with Jessica Moeller, marketing and communications director, to learn more about it. Welcome. Glad to see you here today. Thanks for having us. Great to be Appreciate here. it. Neil, how does it work that people are selected to be in the Kentucky Hall of Fame? Well, it's a, basically a three part process, but it takes about six or eight months. And the first part is we throw it out to the public through social media and just calls to the public to tell us who are their favorite authors going back 200 years. Then it goes to a small committee that's run by the State Arts Council, and a bunch of writers and bookstore owners and others are on it. And then they make a selection and then send it to the Carnegie Center for a final, usually rubber stamping. A very important thing, don't mm -hmm. you think, to be able to give these writers that kind of recognition? Yes, absolutely, because so many writers spend so much time doing what they do in a room by themselves. It's nice to have a community there really supporting them and knowing that they're doing what they're doing. Jessica, what makes a, a, a potential author eligible to be a part of the Hall of Fame? Well, this is the second year that we've included a living author. So in the first um, two years, we, um, you had to be deceased. Um, and then in addition to being deceased, published, um, your work needed to be of enduring uh, nature. And you had to have a, a tie with the Commonwealth in some significant way. Who's being honored this year? Um, well, Bobby Ann Mason's our living author. Oh, that's wonderful. And she's following um, Wendell Berry, who was inducted last year as well. So a, a great, great addition. Yes. Yeah. And then we have four deceased ones, and I'm going to try to remember them right now. But okay. Harlan Hubbard, um, James Lane Allen, right. Gene Ritchie, who's the first songwriter, and uh, Alice Hegan Rice, who is a children's book author. Very good. Wonderful so choices. Yeah. And that's coming up Thursday, January 28th at 7 o'clock at the Carnegie Center. You also have musical entertainment. Yes. We do. It's a kind of a fun addition this year. Um, we have uh, Jean Ritchie's nieces. Oh, um, well. They're dulcimer players, uh, which is, of course, a wonderful connection to Kentucky and, and Appalachia. So um, people will get a taste of uh, Ritchie's nieces, uh, which are comprised of Jean Ritchie's nieces. Oh, great. <laughs> well, it yes. sounds like a lot of fun and uh, certainly a wonderful event to recognize these authors and uh, free admission. Yes. Good deal. That's yeah. right. Thanks for Thank coming. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.